Okay, this one's on how to set the anticipator for the mechanical thermostat. First thing, your thermostat must be mechanical. Can't be electronic to set this. Uh, they'll look something like that. They may look like that. Or it looks like this. If they look like this, or they look like this, then you can't set the anticipator this way. Okay, this is a view of these thermostats with the cover off. Anticipators here, adjusting thing here, same here, same on this one. This one here, a little more complex. Uh, there's actually two. You'll have to set it for whichever stage it is. And there's your dial there. And if there's a second stage, there's a dial there. This one here is an old rubber chow with its uh, cover removed. I'll show you where the anticipator is there. Okay, the anticipator on this one is right here. The lever moves up this way uh, for the different settings. In this case, now I'm down at the furnace. This is the best place to do the anticipator setting. Uh, this is an 80% furnace. Most of them look kind of like this. Okay, now this one simply has wire nuts, wire nutting the low voltage wires together. Here's your low voltage wire going up to the thermostat. And these are the wires coming out of the control. Now, if I want to find out where to set the anticipator on this, I have to determine the amperage draw of the control circuit. So, what I've got hooked up here, we've got red coming out of the control going up to the thermostat. we got white coming out of the uh, control going up to the thermostat. And we've got green coming out of the control going up to the thermostat. Red is a power source. That's a low voltage power that is fed up to the thermostat. It goes up to the thermostat through red and comes back through white. Now, if I'm going to set these things, I have to set it by clamping with my uh, ammeter like this. I have to clamp the white wire. Do not clamp red. Uh, even if you have a very simple thermostat and only two wires going up there, I still tell everybody to clamp white because white is heat. And if that's heat, that's the only thing I want to check. I don't want to check anything that's, that's there may be other things, the fan switch is on, something like that. That means power would be going up through here and then out to the fan switch. So uh, the only way to do this is to clamp white. The machine must be running when you do it. Okay, I've got the white clamped and I'm ready to start the appliance. So I go ahead and turn on the thermostat. Now that's the inducer. I'm drawing a very, very low amperage. I'm 0 0.06 and 0 0.07. That's six one hundredths of an amp. And I'm not sure, that doesn't sound like the right and draw. So I'm going to wait until this thing lights off. Now I can look up here, you'll see the burners right there. Now the hot surface igniter just came on, it lit, now we're showing 0.34. What I usually do is I wait until a circulating fan comes on, burners are on, and pretty soon that circulating fan is going to come on, then I check my amp rod. Okay, the fan has come on, doesn't seem to make a lot of difference, so what my uh, amp draw is 0 0.36, 0 0.35. Now I'm going to set that on the anticipator. Okay, there's my thermostat. Anticipator levers right here. And I need 0 0.3, 0 0.35, something like that. 
Now you can see that point three there. We're down there about halfway between point three and point four. And your anticipator set should cycle normally. If it does not cycle normally, you've got another problem. You could have uh, ignition problems in the furnace and sort of things like that. I did put out a couple of videos on short cycling of those machines. You might look at those and see if those help. I'm going to show you a couple more thermostats where their anticipators are located. Okay, here we have a couple other uh, types of thermostats. I'm going to go ahead and set that middle one. And let's take a look at that little center dial there. Now, if I'm setting this, the arrow's here, so I'm going to turn this back and forth. I want about three and a half, so I'm going to get between half, uh, between halfway between point four and point three. And it's set. I'll show you one other one. Okay, this thermostat here, a little more complicated. Showed it to you earlier. That's stage one, that's first stage. In this case, that's what we're doing. Uh, there's only one stage in most of these things. Set it to about 0.35, you're done. Okay, some furnaces will have a terminal board like that. What you're looking for is W1. It'll probably be the white wire, like this one right here. And you will clamp that wire. So it's pretty much the same as any other. It's just there's a terminal board. Okay, a little bit of a summary. Uh, you need to clamp the white wire, check the amp draw with a digital clamp meter. Analog won't work, it has to be digital. Wait until a unit fires up, the burners are on, the blower is on, then check the amp draw of that circuit and set the anticipator accordingly. And uh, that's pretty much it for the mechanical thermostat anticipator. Remember, you cannot do this on electronics. I will give you some ideas on how to do electronics in another video.